Hey, what's up? It's Sugar from Sound Candy Studio. Today I'm going to take a look at Beat Skills Valvesque. Welcome back. Right, so let's just jump into this one straight away. This is a uh, Valvesque by Beat Skills, uh, and it essentially is a distortion EQ. So let's just take a look at the uh, main interface and see what we have here. Uh, so at the top here, you have a you have a one through to six selector, and that allows you to go through very very warm and nice uh, warmth uh, distortion all the way to through to number six, which is very aggressive distortion. And obviously, we have them on our stereo link, so that whatever changes we make at the top actually happen at the bottom. Uh, you have two types of distortion, distortion A and B. A is triode and B is pentode. So if you on, if you want the more smoother sounds, you go for the triode, which is A, and if you want the more aggressive sound, you can go for B. Uh, then you have your input gain. Obviously, the harder you drive the input gain, the more distortion you're going to get. Then you have your bass boost and bass cut. You have your high selector, so 4K all the way through to 2K. You have your mid, high, mid and high frequency boost uh, and and mid and high frequency cut you have your low pass filter then your output gain and simply your power on and off uh, incidentally the power on and off works by either clicking on the light or clicking on the button I'm not sure why both are necessary but let's leave it there then at the bottom you have your there are two buttons at the bottom you have your pre and post now pre is um, Post and pre are distortion after EQ and distortion before EQ. Then you have your smooth button. Uh, I should have said actually, um, post is distortion after EQ and pre is distortion before the EQ. Uh, then you have your smooth button. Now this gives it some warmth and, and kind of prevents it from clipping as quickly. Uh, and then you have simply your dry wet filter uh, slider on the side here. So I've put this on the master bus. We're going to see how this sounds. Let's just go to the uh, default. Let's just go to the uh, selector and go through to the default preset. So we'll have a look into, have a listen to it. Let's start with uh, something very smooth and see what that sounds like. So we'll start at one. Uh, let's just make sure the gain is down so we don't clip. Maybe I should start that from the beginning again. So let's try the uh, pentode. That is crisp. Uh, I really do like this. Uh, the EQ side of it, I really do like. I'm not necessarily a massive fan of distortion, uh, but certainly on the EQ, I actually do like this. Let's try this uh, pentode here. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, that sounds good. Now, obviously, for me in this track, I would probably have it somewhere on the very, very smooth. Uh, let's, while we're here, let's try the pre and post and see how that sounds. I guess it sounds, let's just try that again. I think I like it in the post uh, as, as opposed to the pre. It just sounds a little smoother there. Let's take off the smooth button, see what that does. You know, sometimes you try these uh, plugins and you, you press a few buttons and it doesn't, you, you can't distinctly hear a sound. You can't hear it making any differences. But in this one, uh, in this case, you can certainly hear it make a difference. Let's try, let's pull back the wet dry slider. Let's see what that does. So obviously this is without. I actually like this plugin. Um, it's kind of expensive. I think this plugin is about uh, $150. It is a uh, Mac and PC uh, compatible. I think it's Windows 10, and I think you need High Sierra. I think High Sierra is 10.13 and above. Uh, so if you have, uh, I think if you have Sierra, it may it may or may not work. I suspect it will work. It's VST2 and AAX. Now I'm not sure whether there's VST. Um, but it certainly is VST2. I'm not even sure if it's VST3, but I know it's VST2 and it's AAX. Uh, do I like it? I do like it. Uh, I'm not necessarily a massive fan of distortion, as I said, but uh, where t sometimes if you're doing drums or so, it's definitely useful and sometimes even on the vocals. Let's quickly, let's lower this. It's, we don't want to clip here. And let's go through some of, um, as you know, if you've listened to my videos before, I'm not a massive fan of presets, but I do think they allow you to get to your final destination real quick so let's just try and let's just let's just let's actually let's just select something this is pertinent to this let's go to uh let's just go bus wide see what that sounds like uh you can instantly recognize that the stereo link button has been disengaged which means that there are different settings at the top than there are at the bottom as you can see here on the bass cut it's on zero and this one's on one uh so let's just see what that sounds like Now, as you can expect, not all of the settings are going to work uh, that well on the master bus. Let's try this crunchy one. Let's see what that sounds like. Let's just make sure we back down on the gain so we don't clip there. I like this. Uh, I, th I think it's not bad. Uh, if you're in the market for a uh, distortion EQ, you certainly take a look at this. Like most uh, plugins today, uh, there probably will be a um, demo of it. So if there is a demo of it, which I'll have a look and see, and I'll add that to the description, uh, certainly take a look at it and see whether you like it or not. If there is a uh, the demo and you do try it out tell me what you think about it tell me whether you like it what's good what's bad i'm not a fan of having a light i i guess it's a plug-in and i guess it's electronic so it's an either either in terms of the ui but i kind of think if you have if you have the selector for the power then you don't need it for the light itself um anything else i dislike uh no not really i think it was quite nice uh, in terms of a ui i think it sounds good um certainly the pentode and the triode i like them too uh the selectable uh, inputs for the distortion i like that as well uh, i even like the post and pre eq which i think is a nice touch and i like the fact that the smooth button is on there to prevent the clipping uh, so that's it for me i will see you again this week uh, let me know if there's anything i've missed out please do shout in the comment section and tell me what I've missed. Uh, and I will see you again this week. Take care. Bye-bye.